is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Personally, this year has been one of the best years of my life. People are telling me the streams are amazing, keep it going, right? But sadly, Behind the scenes, you know, as you guys have known multiple times over the year, things have not been great. All I can tell you is this, that this year I've made a lot of changes and I'm in the process of making a lot of changes to make things better. So that it's not constantly, oh my God, the sky is falling, the house is burning, and I need immediate dangerous help right now. This has happened a few times this year already. If you remember, I've had a couple of marathons where I had big like goals to try to raise funds and stuff. And every time that I did it, it, ended up being successful, but then you get that backlash and a bunch of people who are just complete assholes who want to try to fabricate stuff about the situations. If you remember a few months ago, I did a marathon where there was going to be a big positive reveal. So people were very supportive, and then at the end of the marathon, I revealed Jasper, and all you hear is that Phil charged thousands of dollars to show his cat, which I didn't do. That's complete bullshit. As I already explained in my, my interview with the quartering just a couple weeks ago. The truth of the matter is that I'm in a situation that's bad, very bad, and I'm actively taking steps and I can tell you guys you know when I went and visited my mom and my dad earlier this year I had a very ser serious conversation with my parents and they were like you can't keep going the way you're going you you're never gonna you're never gonna come out the winner in this situation you're gonna end up losing out and you have to make these changes behind the scenes and you have to do this and this and I have been uh, I can't tell you what I've been doing because legally it wouldn't make sense and legally it would basically hurt me um, but I've been doing a lot of things begging to try to get back on track and to try to get back on my feet so that it's not every couple months I have to do a special marathon or a special fundraiser or this or that in order to raise tips and stuff. It's terrible. And the truth of the matter is the past couple of months have been great. Like you guys have been doing really well in regards to coming out and showing up and engaging in the streams and being very supportive with contributions on the streams. I can't say a single negative thing about it. You guys have been amazing. Um, which is why I hate having to do a special segment on a fucking stream like this, especially when we're just starting up all the hot new releases today. I gotta take time out to talk about this crap. I don't want to, uh, but I have to, all right? So the situation is this, without giving you any specifics, because I can't, I, you know, I, I saw out advice on this and has basically told you, don't give any specifics about stuff that's going on because it could be used to hurt you, but if you need to, appeal to the, the people who support you the most, you have to, right? The hardcore begging season. I'm in a situation where I'm behind on stuff, um, pretty badly, to the point where, you know, as you guys know, I've been telling you guys the past few months, I overdraw, overdraw, overdraw every month, right? And whenever I get paid by Twitch, I basically now try to catch up, and it's kind of worked, but not really. What I mean by that is I play catch up for about two weeks. And then all of a sudden I'm in the hole again and then I play catch up for two weeks. Um, well, it's essentially become to the point now where uh, I'm behind and I have to pay a certain amount of things by the end of this month. And if I don't, all the stuff that I've kind of been working for all year and could come to fruition in the next several months to early next year will fall apart if... I can't pay stuff. And you know what? Some people actually at this point don't believe me anymore. And that's the problem is like, I'm in a situation where I don't know what else to do because I can't, I, there's nowhere else I can borrow from. I have no credit. All right. My credit's ruined. Uh, I have nowhere I can borrow from. It just really sucks. I'm in a situation where like, I need to beg. I need to make a payment of a certain amount by the end of this month and if I do then I'm good then I'm actually on pace uh to to start to do slow recovery it's going to take a while but it's slow recovery where hopefully uh you know like I said if this goes through the way that I'm hoping and everything works out 
in regards to many factors. So of course, everyone's going to fucking speculate about a million things, and I can't give you any specifics. I was told not to. Obviously. <laughs> um, it's Tevin's fault. The truth of the matter is I need to, in one week, by the end of this month, I need to raise a large amount of funds and make, a, 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 you know, payments in order to get to a situation where, okay, now I'm on pace and I can now continue on with the plot that I was doing, okay? The course that I have. But I don't know what else to do besides to tell you guys because, you know, I, there's nothing else I can do about it, right? There's nothing. I can't, like I said, there's nothing else, nowhere else I can get this from. I have no, no one to borrow from. I can't legally borrow from anyone. It's about this much. It's about that much, about $1,800, okay? Taxes, taxes, taxes. We're afraid that in the back of our heads we're just gonna have taxes, taxes, taxes. I'm not gonna sit here and every day start talking about taxes and shit. I'm just not. I wanna be here and enjoy games and hang out with you guys and have fun. That's what this is about. It's not about my tax problems, even though they exist. You guys don't want to hear about that every freaking day, you know? Even when near the end of the year I need to do some kind of emergency style fundraisers if I have to or whatever, you know, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we're not talking about it anymore, guys. The bottom line is, tax issue is my issue right now. And so that has to be within a week. And I don't know if it's going to happen, but I can tell you is, anything that's raised will help. But if I raise the whole amount, that puts me in a safe zone, essentially. Okay, you're safe, you're on pace, you keep going with what you're doing, and everything's fine, and there's no risk of anything, you know, bad pretty much happening if I can do that by the end of the month. If I can't do that by the end of the month, I don't even know what's going to happen. Like the whole, like I said, things I've been working on for months could fall apart. Disgusting beggar. Phil's just a, one of the worst e-beggars. And to the point where, let me put it this way, when you're in as much debt as I am, um, there's only a few other things that can happen, like... People can try to sue me for money that I can't pay, and if they do that, what they're going to do is they're going to take my house away, because my house has some equity in it. So they're going to take my house away, which means now I can't stream and all of that. Of course, this is not anything that would happen right away, but it's something that once the process starts, good luck getting out of it. Uh, that's what I'm going to understand is like, unless I can keep on pace with what I'm doing, um, I'm pretty screwed. I still need your help. I need to raise a lot of money this month. I really, 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 really need your support right now, folks. I really need the money to keep this house. No lies because I need the money. Right now with this whole tax situation I'm in, I need the money. I'm gonna need your guys' help. I really am, I'm gonna need your support. I need it. I need th that money, I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation. So, hint, hint, save the house. Just like I knew it would, because, you know, I want you to understand, I don't want to do this. You know, I knew that all this was going to do is create more nonsense, drama, and assholes, and more content for the assholes, too, to just make out their nasty content and make fun of me in my personal life and everything. I don't, I don't like, I don't like mixing the personal and the public anymore. You guys know this the past two and a half years. I've tried to keep them as separate as possible because I don't like bringing this stuff out and airing it publicly at all. Um, you know, and of course, the next, the next thing is people are so nasty. They really are. Oh, Phil's going to say that his cat got hurt and now he needs to bring his cat to the vet. And it's nothing like that. I just want you to understand that I would never do that. I would never lie about a situation and, and make it into something that's like really underhanded or immoral to try to, to, to raise funds or anything like that. Everything that I've always done has been honest and upfront with you guys as much as it could be. You know, the few times that I had to hide stuff for you, like, you know, like the wedding and everything was for very good reason. You didn't want anyone fucking swatting the wedding and shit. Um... So that's the situation I'm in right now, okay guys? You know, next week, I still have to take a day off at some point, you know? I have to because I, I have appointments and things now I need to make, and it sucks. And some people say, well, if you're in a situation, how dare you take any time away from the streams? Because well, that's my life, like, I wish I could just sit here all day, every day, streaming for you guys, I can't. You know, I have responsibilities, I have a life outside of the stream and things that I have to go to. Oh, but you own two homes. Well, guess what? No, I don't. Well, I won't soon. And that's because I'm in process of trying to fix that situation. I know I should have never had two homes, and... That, as you guys, guys know, the place in Connecticut has been absolutely nothing but trouble. Um, and the way to get out of it has not been a good one. Why do you think I have no credit? Right? That's what I've been trying to tell you guys for a million years. Who keep bringing this up? Phil doesn't need support. He owns two homes. No, yeah. No. <laughs> no, actually, I couldn't afford two homes. That's one of the reasons why I'm in the situation I'm in. And I'm in the process of getting rid of that, which is why uh, I'm doing that right now. Oh, but Phil has so much stuff that he can sell. I have nothing. The only thing in my entire house that's worth anything that would potentially be able to be sold is the stupid statues over in the nook that I can't sell. And no, this has nothing to do with, you know, 
a horrible health crisis with my cat or my wife or me. I'm not trying to make this out to be something it's not. Understand? I'm trying to be as upfront and transparent with all of you as possible. I don't want you to think that there's some weird lingering thing behind the scenes. I'm, I, I'm not that kind of guy. And I refuse to do that. I refuse to make up some, some fucking sob story excuse. Uh, for why I am in the situation I'm in. You guys know why I'm in the situation I'm in. I spent way too much money that was outside of my means when I was making more money back in the day, expecting I was going to keep making that amount of money. Well, guess what? Boom, I didn't make that much money anymore because of the actions of people who fucked me over, screwing over my YouTube channels and other things. And even though now, on Twitch, things are great, and my streams are great, and your contributions are great, all the debt of my past won't leave me alone. And there's no way for me to magically fix it. Like I said, this is an ongoing, very long process. Okay. I mean, I need help now, but I mean, how many times can I yell help before people are like, enough is enough? Um, but now I'm in a day, this is like a do or die situation. If that doesn't get cleared up by the end of the month, seven days from now, if I don't raise that and be able to make the payment that I owe, or the payments that I owe, um, I'm basically in a situation where everything I've worked for this year is probably not going to be able to happen, in which case, that's it. Like, there's nothing else to fall back on. And of course, now you're going to have assholes. Someone being completely nasty to me. This is just what I need. You know, when I'm doing this this morning, and I don't want to have to do it, and I'm doing this this morning on a stream, I have to have people being fucking nasty to me. You know, it's perfect. Thanks a lot. You know, really shows your maturity level and your, your empathy level. Um, as a person, when you just sit there and you just attack and shit on someone, right? So, thanks a lot. Are you the man? Por favor, it's muy importante. I can't keep, I can't keep constantly when stuff like this crap happens. I can't constantly have to keep coming back to you guys and saying, help. Now you have new material to make garbage videos and speculative crap with for until the cows come home and who gives a shit, right? Because I can't change it anyway. For me, thank God. Thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you. Really, thank you. Oh boy, Emerald Six gifted a sub to Snort Burnell. Gee, thanks, Emerald Six. That guy's such a nice guy. Snort. What an asshole. I easily could have come out here with a fucking sob story and made something up to try to get sympathy. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tell you it's something medical emergency and I need to do this and that and this and that. I've heard other streamers who've done shit like that before. I mean, people talk about other streamers in my stream all the fucking time and say, Can you believe this guy said this thing and then went this and did this with the money? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be honest with all you guys about what this stuff is, okay? And that's the deal is that I don't want to do that. I don't want to become that. I don't want to become the dishonest, you know, guy who tells you a story just to, to fucking, you know, make a paycheck and then do other stuff behind the scenes. You're a hypocrite and you're an asshole and you're an evil person. This is the situation is my life right now is kind of on the line. Um, what? What? <laughs> With what's going on here, you know, in regards to me being able to keep putting out streams for you, me being able to keep do stuff like this. Okay. And here you go with an, with an idiot. Oh, I'll give you $1,800 right now if you tell us what the trip or vacation is you're playing. None. There's no trip. There's no vacation. I'll be here. I'll be here every fucking day streaming. Working my ass off. There's no trip or fucking vacation. God. Oh, look at me. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, it's terrible. I look so stupid. <laughs> Dude, I look so stupid. I look like a fat fuck. Skoomink? Cheered, is, is it true that you have two tiki torches outside your front door and a couch on the lawn for when Cat gets home? What? I don't even, I don't even know what the hell that even means. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know if that's a negative or positive reference. I have no idea. I can't even respond to that.
What the hell does that mean? Save the pig! What the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. This is a piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! So there's one final thing I want to talk about before we get to the next section. I, I, I don't know what happened, but it seems to me that possibly the ability to share games between PlayStation 4 consoles doesn't work anymore. For some reason, I don't know why. Um, but let, allow me to explain. So apparently there's the, the, the ability to share games between PS4 consoles... Uh, if you and, say, a friend or a relative share each other's consoles as their their primary console. It's this, this it's not necessarily an exploit. It's a reason. It's a, it's a way that you can do this. And quite frankly, Kat and I have not really done this much at all. But in the last year, Kat wanted to maybe check out a couple games that I had already bought. And one of the games that, that it was was um, Borderlands 2 just last month when I bought Borderlands... Excuse me, Borderlands 3. Just last month when I bought Borderlands 3... Uh, you know, Kat's console is set as my primary console, her PS4, and then, you know, she logs in under me, downloads the game, and then logs back in as her, and she's able to play the game. No problem. Um, she didn't love, like, the game, by the way. She only played it for a little bit and didn't really like it, so then she ended up not, not playing it. Um, so it goes vice versa as well, you know. My console, my PS4 is set as her primary console, and so I'm able to download games under her license, or her, her name, her account, and play certain ones that maybe she owns, okay? So what I was thinking is maybe in the future, if I wanted to do a Skyrim playthrough, she's been playing Skyrim, I could download Skyrim from her account and then play Skyrim on my PS4, and that way I don't have to rebuy it or anything, right? Well, for some reason, it doesn't seem to work anymore because we tried downloading a game on her PS4 on my account, right? And then log back in as her. When, I, when I'm logged in, it shows it's completely unlocked and you can play it. But when she logs in as her, the game shows it's locked, and then when you try to click on it, um... When you try to click on it, it says, oh, you need to go to the PlayStation Store and buy this game if you want to play it. <laughs> um, now, some people would say, oh, we'll store licenses. Did that. Did it both under as logged in as me and logged in as her. And you go back to it and it still shows as locked. Um, so for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be working. And I don't know how to fix that. Nor do I know if there's any way to undo that. You know what I mean? I just saw someone. Oh, look! <laughs> and I earn what I deserve. Application suspending in 15 minutes because license cannot be verified. I think we have a problem. You see what I'm saying? Something fucked up with my games. Something fucked up with all my games. I told you guys with the game share, the game share fucked up. How can the license not be verified? I bought the game on this console. See? So I'm gonna play this game, then I gotta stop playing and figure out what the fuck is going on. Because I can't even play the fucking game. What I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to set this as my primary PS4. I don't know what else to do. Here. I have a license. You're gonna tell me I have a license for nothing? What the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. How do I not have a license to play this fucking game? Oh my god. How does this make any sense? I might just have to make this my primary PS4 then. If this is fucking up this badly at this point. And I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Ah, so I have to deactivate on the other system first. Oh, well, I can do that. I can do that. I guess I'm going to have to. <laughs> this is so fucked up. All right, hold on. I'm going to go do that now, So, because I need to keep playing my games. I don't know what the hell's going on with this stupid thing. It's a piece of garbage.
<sighs> okay. All right, everyone, hold on here. So now, now I gotta do this. <laughs> hold on. I gotta deactivate this as Cat's primary PS4. This whole game share thing doesn't work and we give up. We're just not gonna do it anymore. It doesn't fucking work, so there's no point doing it. <laughs> there's no point wasting time with it. It doesn't work. It was a way... Too much trouble, now I can't even play my own fucking game, so they can go fuck themselves. I'm just not dealing with this anymore. It's salty as fuck. It's like pure salt. All you could taste was salt. You couldn't taste anything else. I'm just done with it. Alright, I'm back. We just gotta wait for the licenses to restore, and then we'll play Plants vs. Zombies again. Fuck this stupid shit. All this noise. Why don't they just make it so that you can game share? Instead of, oh, you have to set this one as a primary, set this one as a primary, so you download on one, switch accounts to the other. Fuck this. Just fucking make it, okay, game share with a few people on PSN. He's a dinosaur of the internet. He's done. Look at this. He's falling apart. The guy took me a dollar. He said, game sharing works just because you don't know how to set it up correctly. doesn't mean it's stupid shit. Or you could bite me. Thanks for the dollar tip, dickhead. Ah, the salty tears. Uh, I just literally did, a, in, in circles, I did what everyone was telling me to do. And it still didn't work. And then it told me it was going to kick me out of my own fucking game. And I said, enough is enough. I'm not dealing with Sony's stupid shit anymore. I'm just gonna fucking play games and appear. It's like I was just saying to Cat, sadly, it just seems like we can't have the nice things everyone else has. We can't. As I've said many times, you know, people will get what's coming to them. It's called karma. In life, it seems like everyone else can enjoy stuff. We can't. We get fucked over every, every possible fucking direction. We get screwed over and fucked over. So, everyone else could use game share, but apparently we're not allowed to. So there you go. I'm the victim complex guy. I literally did everything that everyone, re re you know, recommended. I said, oh, set this as your primary, set that as your primary, refresh all licenses, restart the PS4, log in, log out, nothing worked. And then it tells me why I'm playing my own game that I bought, that I don't have license to play it, so fuck that. My eyes, I'm crying. I'm like, oh my god, my eyes are burning out of my head. I'm crying like a baby. Hydro Kermit, we're talking about Game Share. I was trying to use Game Share, and, well, I have. I mean, Kat's been using my, my, uh, account, like, my, she, her PS4 was set as my primary PS4, and she was able to play many games that I bought this year on her PS4, like Borderlands 3, Rage 2, and a few others. Um, and it never had a problem. Now, all of a sudden, we decided she was gonna get a game for once to help with, with the cost of the games and stuff, so she bought Outer Worlds. I tried to get it. I can't play it. It's locked. It's not working. I can't play any of the games that she has. Like, also Skyrim. I wanted to see it. I couldn't play her Skyrim. Even though I set up mine exactly the same way that she set up hers, wouldn't work no matter what I did. So then finally I just had enough. I was like, it doesn't work. So now I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies and a message pops up. You don't have the license to play this game. I'm like, enough. I'm done with this. That's it. I can tell you, I can smell the saltiness. I'm done. Cody Curls. You, you don't know what you're talking about. He's like, why do you get triggered about minor life issues? No, no, no. You just don't understand. This is like every fucking minute of my life. Is that everyone else gets stuff. I get nothing. I get fucked over constantly by every little possible thing on the planet. It has to fuck with me and fuck me over. Everyone else has easy access to this. Me, it's like pulling teeth to get something that's supposed to work simply to fucking work. It's like I get punished eternally. Like I said, I'm like Jonah in the whale. Right, so fuck this. <laughs> I've had it. I just want to play games and have fun. That's it. And here come the idiots. Well, good. Goodbye. Good, I get to get rid of a bunch of idiots tonight. That's good. See, I got there's a casual leaning manual ban where I just go like this. I lean in and ban someone like this. But then if it's someone that really pisses me off, we got the leaning manual slam! Fucking slam the keyboard to ban that fucker. Alright, we're back, and my PS4 is now set as my primary PS4, so if they kick me out of this game, there's gonna be some major issues because I paid for it and they can go fuck themselves. Alright. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality